Got to be. You want me to hold this? You You didn't want to be seen with an iPad. That's what it was. (laughs) Hands off. Camera's on. Too bad. Welcome to DTLT today. Uh, Talking about badgers. (laughs) Yeah, we're here talking about honey badgers. The honey badgers are taking over and And revolutionizing education. They are. The future. So anyway, on Twitter, I don't know how many of you do any of these social network things, but (laughs) if you do, you probably have seen the hashtag or seen people talking about badges. And I guess um, the Mozilla Foundation with Haystack and the MacArthur Foundation and a whole bunch of other folks are actually experimenting with the idea of what badges mean for kind of open accreditation. Kind of the idea of, you know, giving people kudos for what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't really even know where to start with this. Um, And I kind of, I'm following it, but I I heard a little bit of on we with these new ideas that are going to revolutionize education and don't get to anything to do with our core societal problems. Like, I find that kind of funny. I'm sure QR codes are involved. It's funny in a, funny in a, like, can I... Funny, ha-ha, am I here to fucking amuse you, funny? (laughs) Right? Under my fucking clown. I feel like everybody in my Twitter stream right now is a clown. I love that, how you had nothing to say about this. I don't. I, I don't. So anyway, I have nothing to say about this. I will interject as I find my thing, but I'm going to leave it to uh, my betters, um, not credential-wise, but my betters, <laughs> Tim <laughs> Owens and Paul well, Because that I have otherwise. enough credentials, I don't really need a badge, yeah. frankly. I would just like to go on the record as saying I was a Girl Scout, and I quit. Yeah. Because I hated badges. You hated badges? Yeah. I hated the hoops that I had to jump through to get the stupid little badge to put on the sash I had to wear. And it was like this public display. Maybe Mozilla will have everyone selling cookies. I can relate. (laughs) Now, cookies I can get behind. Cookie love. (laughs) Cookie love. Yeah, but not make them. But not sell theirs. Well, I'm I'm glad without having an opinion that you totally brought us into the explicit rating right off the get go. So that's good. (laughs) Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done. I appreciate that. Hey, I, I. to serve and protect. Yeah. What badges, Tim? All right. So to clarify um, a little bit about that, and I and I'll be truthfully honest, like I didn't watch the actual announcement, but Mozilla got up there with Arnie Duncan with the MacArthur Foundation, and basically Mozilla, the foundation, has created this framework for badges. They saw that badges seem to be working pretty well in different areas. Foursquare uses them. Uh, P- P2P user. University, that what they did is they piloted this framework with uh, when Mozilla came out with their School of Webcraft, which is this uh-huh. online system sure. where you can learn about PHP, JavaScript, all this other stuff, and you could earn badges to do that. And so what they decided was that, um, you know, Mozilla likes to talk about the um, internal frameworks and ways that you create these things as opposed as a larger picture. Yeah. Um, so they created this uh, project called the Open Badge Infrastructure, right? So um, the idea being that any institution, any company, any person could um, give you a type of badge. And the, you know, while the framework itself, there's no cost involved to using it, you know, the institution could put a cost behind it. If you were get, gonna, for example, get a UMW badge that shows that, you know, you had learned English well. I, I guess they're trying to market this in a way as, you know, for, um, what am I thinking? For the adult learner, for online learning, or for things for, of that nature. Uh, independent and learner. alternative forms An of alternative form of credentialing. credentialing. and credentialing. Exactly. Um, so. <laughs> a tool. Which, yeah, and, you know, used on a micro level, as noise professors saying, badges tied to student learning outcomes. I see that, but like to me, it's like the best parts of learning are like when you have that moment when you realize God doesn't exist, right, when you have question. that existential crisis. Well, and that it's like you know how do you how do you badge that? Well, and it's like ba- so yeah, badges represent this culmination, and the best parts of learning happen in the spaces in between, yeah. mm-hmm. and, right? And, and then not in the culmination. Let's call in the processes and. I don't know, just the idea that the, and literally, like, the white paper in this website is labeled as an in-depth look at how badges can reinvent 21st century learning. Well, I mean, this is, but that's the argument every, as soon as anybody finds a technology, everybody runs to their blog to say how it's going to revolutionize education. So this is nothing new where somebody has come out with a tool 
that possibly has a purposeful use and immediately everybody's running and yeah. saying yeah. this is going to change the nature of education because everybody's looking for that change but um, as, as soon as i see those words i am skeptical right well the other thing that's interesting is like how does it really change the nature of assessment it doesn't. Like, I mean, no. that's the thing. I mean, it's like... The representation behind that badge is still is still the same. Yeah. You know? It's, it's still like, still you did pass or you didn't pass. You get kudos or you don't get kudos. It may look different. It may not be necessarily tied to an institution. But, I mean, I think the idea, and, you know, Noise Professor is suggesting this in the chat, as Martha said, it's like those interstitial spaces, the social spaces in between, that network culture was trying to break open. Mm -hmm. and reevaluate these relationships based on trust yeah. and based on some notions of kind of a face system between people, a social system, a community, right. to bring it back to the object, to bring it back to the thing, the badge, in some ways is yet another assault on the notion, well, I think, of what's best about the social. And if you look, if, if they're really like looking to other models in, in deciding, you know, that this is a way forward, you know, look at Foursquare or look at badges as a, as a form of, of like gaming and gameplay. Sure. It's like the badges are, are not, the badges are not, they're a, they're a form of play. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a fun to those. Right. That this is not about that. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think you're, you're divorcing the badge from the thing that makes badges in those contexts sort Absolutely. of fun and, and silly and, um, and unexpected, like that's one of the things with Foursquare is you get these badges and you're like, who knew there was a badge for that? Yeah, you know, exactly. like, there's, there isn't this, okay, I'm going to get credentialed as the mayor of, you yeah. know, Starbucks. Well, like, but, <laughs> but I do feel like in some aspect, maybe there could be some use behind me trying to tell you, look, I know PHP. Let's think about it in terms of a job interview. So I'm trying to tell them, I know PHP. Well, you can prove it with your online work. Some jobs want to see some sort of certification. So it gets back to this idea of how do you prove your credentials? Do you pay companies to do the certification? And whereas one institution might put value behind a certain, uh, you know, type of credential, another might say, yeah, you know, Phoenix University, that's great and all, but I don't think that that's going to fly here, uh, you know, well, but I don't think... But how does the badge solve that? I don't think yeah. it does. It and doesn't, that's and, and that's the biggest thing. It's like, P2P University should be saying, look, create an awesome kind of portfolio of the work you did in PHP or whatever it was and right. show it off to employers yeah. and let them know you did it rather than using P2P as that middleman again who gives you the badge to brand you because let's face it that reinforces the idea of power within the institution or within a person because it's not just about institutions but it actually always already defers power to someone else and the idea of a badge just reinforces the worst part of, I think, the grading system and the right. assessment system. And it doesn't do anything to change it. It's purely a digital facelift. It is. Well, it's well, a cosmetic facelift. What do you say to, all right, so Noise Professor says, as an alternative accreditation, yes, they're useless, but what about as a micro-mechanic at the course or program level? Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. As a fun sure. game aspect of a course or a program. But that's not what this that's is. That's not what this is. And, no. he, and to his well, comment. Well, let's be clear, though. This is a framework for creating badges. What people do with them and how people use them are completely absolutely. up to the institution. Absolutely. But if you read this white paper, the examples they're giving are not examples about doing this on a fun level at the course level as okay. a way to build yeah. social networking, as, as a way to build a, a community. Right. Aren't Duncan didn't uh, 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 come out. Hold on a second. I want to respond to Noise <laughs> Professor. He says, do you all use Foursquare? People love to try and outmayor each other. And I'm not debating that. My point is that they want to do that as part of the game, as part of a, like a, a, as part of the, the, the gaming factor and aspect of that community. It's not yeah. so that they can put it on their resume. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is, Arn Duncan wouldn't be there talking about, like, hey, I got this new idea. It's called you know, stickers for your <laughs> students. They did good work, put a sticker on their work, which is just the same thing as, this is using a system, a framework, by which people can credential in different ways across the web. So it actually breaks out of institutions, but I don't think it speaks directly to one class, like, okay, yeah, because I, I think using icons and fun stuff for that for classes, you know, the idea of that particular culture, like you said, on a micro level, but we're not talking is not micro. This is a macro attempt to approach well, systematically a new way of assessment, which it's not. 
And, and, and he is making the point that we are, and I think we are on the same side, and that ultimately how it's used doesn't necessarily have to be in line with the white paper. And I agree with that. And in, in, yeah. in, the, in that sense, this as That's a framework right. for experimenting with badges in any context is sort of interesting. Yeah. What I have a problem with is the rhetoric around this and and the imagined use cases that have obviously driven this project. Well, I I love Martin Weller and he says something that I was kind of struck by on Twitter. He said if we can crack this nut, I think it has unbelievable potential for education. What I don't understand is where is the nut? Like where what is there to crack about badges? Like I just think they're like a re like it's just basically taking one idea like grading and turning it into a visual design representation. Yeah. That's it. That's the nut. There's no nut to crack. Yeah. But do people, the thing I wonder about, though, do people strive for an A or a B or a C or whatever in the same way? Well, for one. Would it be different if they got grading a Grading is just a one through five scale in terms of a letter grade, whereas badges open it up completely, I guess, in some ways. So there's that aspect of it, and there's also... Foursquare really is a good example of people really jumping up and saying, I want those badges. Don't, I don't get into the Foursquare thing, so I, I can't speak to why that is, but there's a social aspect there that doesn't exist in a letter grade or a percentage grade. So, yeah. you know. And I like, I mean, that's the, the interesting part, and I think Noise Professor speaking, you know, about this to some degree is how do we think about the badge as an objectification of that social community you want you know right. and if it's doing that to further that community that's fine but these badges are going to be hung on a wall like a degree right you know like there is this notion of the badge is kind of trying to crack the nut i think of open accreditation which is the nut well, the badge is not the nut and it's the idea of accreditation and some sort of trust network is the nut yeah. is badge going to do it I don't know. I don't well, think so. And the one interesting point to the framework, which I did not realize, is Noise Professor saying that there's going to be a Reddit-style upvoting <laughs> from your peers. It's a peer-based, um, you know, system yeah. where they can, you know, put validation behind a certain person's credentials, their badges, yeah. whatever the hell you want to call them. Which. But then you know what we are talking about is there's all sorts of different ways to game that, just like Google. Exactly. I mean, I mean, yeah. look, that's flawed. Just like yes, Julia, it is. A certificate it is a badge that's what a diploma is and we here at DTLT have been understanding the limits of that kind of <laughs> objectified notion of certification and related specifically to a degree I mean let's talk about diversity of thought rather than diversity which is a very minor diversity of how you're gonna grade with a letter or with an icon let's think of really radically different ways to understand how we accredit different expertise Right? And how we as institutions and communities begin to value that different Appreciate expertise. It. I mean, it's a very different question. I mean, I, I love it. Arn Duncan's behind it. You know, what does that tell you? I mean, at least behind the kind of the rollout right now. I don't know. And maybe it's the rollout and the language of the rollout and the rhetoric of the rollout that bothers me more than anything because badges as a yeah. concept is something that we've been interested in before we Absolutely. talked about it as sort of like a, a grassroots DS type thing in DS106 and having students you know, create and award badges as a yeah. form of gameplay within the class. Absolutely. That I don't have a problem with. What I have a problem with is this rhetoric. It's just, it is so difficult. Yeah. To, and, and even like reading the white paper, one of the things they talk about is that the badges will allow them to like, you know, sort of award people along a progression. You know, you'll get like interim badges as you progress through a course of, not a course of, maybe a course of yeah. study, but through, you know, whatever, to whatever goal it is you're trying to get to. And in a way that's like, you know, it's again, it's like getting at the sense that like learning is some prescriptive path, you know, that like that, that there's always a prescriptive path that, that and that's what our job as educators is yeah. is to walk people through that and 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 pick up the badge and move on to the next thing. Yeah. And it's like I just think there's so more so much more to it than that. And there's been a lot of people on there and there's this real heavy reaction to the gamification of education right now. And I don't know what that means in that term and I've kind of stayed away from it because I don't really know you know what where that idea of game begins and ends but I mean a lot of people are reacting to the to the badge notion as you just further gamifying this whole approach right. to, to and I do think that you know the idea of games and education is fun we've kind of played with that idea especially in an immersion org or something like that but you know I think education at its best 
is devastating. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. think it's like, <laughs> oh, yes, you know, I've learned. Right. You know, like, I don't know. I mean, how do we... You know, or like Gardner said, the analytics of love, that right. famous noise professor. Well, it's devastating like, can be... Yeah, it's like, how do you get at that with this? Yeah. You know, it seems like yet another... I don't know. It just seems like more wallpaper. Yeah. And then the thing is, right, there could be really good uses for it in applications, and there are some really smart people who are excited about it, which makes me want to rethink it. I always do when people are excited about it that I respect. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, it's that initial excitement and that initial, like, everything's overdrawn right. that you really, you start to feel drained. And we as a group particularly feel drained it's these a days. It's draining day. So, I mean, like, when we hear about this, we're like, really? Like, it's what not all cuddle couch Exactly, you, okay? it's not. And then, like, it's like, what does this do to help solve our social, um, what do they call it? Not social welfare, they call it social entitlement programs. Yeah. <laughs> like, what does this do to, you know, deal with our economy? Like, what the hell does this have to do with anything? It's a goddamn distraction. Jeez. You really have nothing to say about this topic. Well, it just <laughs> drives me crazy. I didn't want to even go here. We could be talking about teddy bears, and this would go the same direction. Let's be clear about this. Uh, no, I think here's my thing about it. Badges as a name, as a concept, it's goofy. And I think that's part <laughs> <laughs> It's not a criticism of what Mozilla has created. It's a criticism of, like, I think that's everybody's gut reaction when anybody comes to you and says, you badges badge? have a potential in the education <laughs> institution. Right. I mean, that's it's just, just like, it. like imme immediately I'm going like to come to you and say, chicken nuggets. Are yeah. like <laughs> I'm going to faculty tomorrow. And it's like, maybe <laughs> maybe you figured something out. So, uh, are you on the badges sphere? It's hot. And are I you blogging the badges sphere? Who, like work professionally with faculty to try and get them to think about you know innovating in the classroom if i walked into a meeting with a faculty member tomorrow and said i have got the answer for you it is badges listen Honey you're all badges. here you all get badges no. okay I mean, come on here would be my request to these people because we're running out of time but i would i would end this by saying this will be up on dtlttoday.com and i would like people to comment there specifically about the useful portions of this and right. maybe we can have Let's another have episode useful, right. yeah. talking or, about the framework and itself to, and i have a better and I'm idea happy to explore this framework and start seeing yeah. if we can't do something and i even have a better idea than both that <laughs> i wish <laughs> like someone <getting> <laughs> i think right. we <laughs> should go have people not comment but go to the noun project get a little icon badge <laughs> and get the badge that they think represents you, this episode for them can you badge it could be a campfire opinion. it could be a commie sickle it could be whatever you want, but it's somehow kind of a badge that suggests that you've watched. Look, <laughs> and then you'll be accredited having watched. Look, noise because you don't want to do it for any other reason. Noise Professor says he is going to walk in tomorrow to fellow faculty and talk about badges. Yeah, because he, look, the guy grows things in his garden, yes. you know? I mean, yeah. he's, he's like that. He's a lot more hardcore than we are. Yeah, but we he's actually, you know, he's real. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Honey badgers? For life. For badgers life. for life. All right, see y'all later.